Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How you all doing? Hope everyone is okay, and you all have seen at the beginning, we get another free pack from EA from watching the World Cup thing on Twitch. However, what we're going to do is we're going to save that 50k pack along with all the other big packs until the new batch of players are in packs because honestly, this batch is kind of dead now and player prices are kind of, you know, rockish bottom. Talking of rockish bottom, let's finish off the weekend league gameplay, shall we? Now, interestingly enough, I have seen three or four people who have got Net Doomer, you know, the... Um, the routers that tell you where your location is pinging to via you know via your gameplay and stuff like that i have seen three or four people now from the uk say how their games are getting pinged to north america so that may just be you know a little bit of a coincidence it's, i mean it's only three or four people out of the mass millions that play the game however it could also be a reason of why gameplay is just horrific at the moment perhaps the way that the, the games are pinging isn't isn't right perhaps it's putting you with countries that you shouldn't be put you know you shouldn't be put with um and i'm sure that we do have still some opponents that are playing on vpns because that's the only thing that's the only thing that i can describe it it's not nothing to do with my own personal internet it's got nothing to do with anything else it doesn't happen on any other game it's just FIFA. So there's something within FIFA that is causing this kind of uh, cross-conflict where you get the kind of like that haze over your game, your uh, juddery, you know, stuff like that. And that's why some people may not experience it because they just happen to have not linked with a player from the US or linked with a player that is playing on a VPN. They, not, they might not play as many games per week as what, you know, content creators play and stuff like that and they just may have been lucky whereas you know you will see a lot of people moaning that you know connection is tripe and stuff like that they might be the ones that again are just connecting via vpn and you know or linking up with somehow american accounts when they're based in the uk or uk accounts when they're based in america perhaps the ping on fifa just isn't there but you know nothing we can do about that so we just have to play with what we've got now friday and saturday was absolute disgraceful gameplay right and it kind of put me off the whole weekend league however sunday was a little bit better so if we would have probably not played any games on friday not played any games on saturday and with how smooth sunday was we might have even ended up finishing higher than the goal two that we end up stopping on because honestly i just didn't want to play any more games so regarding the team that we're actually rocking at the moment you've seen that at the beginning and we do have a little bit of a slight issue it's not major major and it may seem weird bang you know considering how many goals he's banging in but we definitely have a stamina issue on hully right granted this is part you know just for me and stuff like that this is just where i'm playing I don't know if me having him in that camp position is his best camp. Yes, he's banging it in, but honestly, the positioning that he's getting into, Ericsson was banging him in from there. When Obama Yang's there, it's just that position causes goals the way that we play. However, I'm finding that I'm having to sub him out about 75 minutes because although he's on, I think it's 95 stamina, he's pretty drained by the end of you know by the end of like 70, 75 minutes. And, and that's a little bit of an issue. So I don't know, perhaps dropping him back is more of the design that the card is for. And then we end up with like two CDMs where one is more attacking, i.e. the Hully, and then the other one is more defensive, i.e. the Vieira. Two tall players in that position. Sal Conte, get rid of Conte, and then bring somebody back into that cam area. So we might look at that in the probably at the end of the week, going into um this upcoming weekend league but it's definitely an issue i'm noticing in probably most games but he's banging them in so you're here right we i've been testing varying degrees to see how long he can go you can see there that game went to extra time and his stamina compared to everybody else throughout the extra time just was an issue it was an absolute issue and then depending on how we play if we play a game you know where we end up playing a few minutes of like high court press and stuff like that he's done he's absolutely done so again that's me that's not necessarily a problem with him it's probably just the way that i'm using him within the formation that we've got set up but for me 
it is a definite issue. So, in this game then, we go 1-0 up. We then go 1-1 after as much help that he could have had in the world. Three tackles that didn't go you know, my way. I couldn't get the ball. And then a bounce off the keeper straight into his attacker's path. And again, Hully comes back with another goal he's finishing his sublime man he's finishing his really really good it's just we do have an issue with the stamina he's, i like his first time tap shot that shot there it's a really nice animation and it just kind of catches the keeper off guard other players that might get caught up slightly in their foot but with the hully animation for some reason it's got this nice flow to it so it, you end up cracking shots whether they're tappings whether they're like bangers whether they're you know volleys you end up cracking them a lot earlier in the animation and it's nice and smooth. So that's a definite plus point with the Hully. But then obviously, like I've said, we do have an issue with the stamina. So that's that for all of our weekend league as we do wrap up on 17 wins. We just couldn't be bothered to play anymore. Whether we're going to go and try, go, you know, try going for Elite again one more time before the end of this cycle of FIFA, I'm not too sure. But let's open a couple of packs and then once we've done that, we'll go and have a look at the stuff that was released last night uh, and see where we are with that. So we get... Uh, man of the match in that one it's only an 81 rated dos santos so nothing majorly exciting unfortunately we do also have our squad battles rewards uh, from playing a few objective games and stuff like that we end up banging another 10,000 coins and a couple of trashy packs so we're up to just under 1.15 now so we can afford a pretty decent player obviously we'll have rewards on thursday as well on top of that if we take coins we'll be closer to like What's that? What, close to like 1.3, something like that. So that's not too bad. As we end up getting another ones to watch card, but it is only the 80 Mariano. The bigger packs we're going to save until the next batch of special cards are in. Hopefully it's team of the season. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, but nothing major from that pack as we finish this section off with a prime mixed players pack. Nothing exciting in that, unfortunately. So let's go and have a look at the stuff that they released last night and do a little bit of housekeeping and cleaning up right then so the new items that they released last night not too bad not too shabby we get the 81 plus double upgrades back the 82 plus rated guarantee now for my money these two are complete and utter ripoffs um if you want to do them you know all, all the all the luck in the world to you exchange a squad for a pack of two rare gold players um 81 plus so you need to put 11 rare players in to get two possible 81 rated players so again that's a little bit of a scam and then that one to get an 82 plus rated player you've got to put five rares and six commons in same as what we've had before nothing exciting however the 81 to 86 upgrade is very very good value for money so we'll finish off the episode with just a couple of those um also they have re-released the flashback for mino um this card is amazing you have to submit an 86 and 85 and an 83 that seems fantastic value if you didn't do for me no the first time around no informs needed as well if you didn't do for me no the first time around trust me this card is absolutely phenomenal really 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 good um it plays very good he's a high high work rate um very good at shooting very good on the ball great stamina uh, let's have a quick look at his stats yeah 99 stamina acceleration is good once you put a nice little chemistry style on him this card is fantastic and it you know we got a few elites with this card in uh weekend league so do it it's a good card if you haven't already done it very very good value for money and how you can make it a little bit cheaper is by doing the 81 to 86 upgrade and this is very very good value for money so all you need to do is submit four golds and then the rest of whatever so you can bang bronzes in um that's very very good value man so we'll submit that i've already got a couple pre-done uh, so we'll open that um like i said we're going to save the big the bigger packs until the new batch of stuff is in packs because it's a little bit dead at the moment so we'll just finish off the episode with these 81 to 86 i think we've got four yeah so we've got four of these to do got, that's not too bad at all seven bronzes and four golds hopefully we can get you know an 85 or an 86 we do want to see a walkout of course if we can get um 
you know boards every single time so it's an 83 plus that's pretty good i'm sure we might get a few duplicates here but these are only worth it if we end up pulling the 85s or the 86s uh, possibly for the 84s but 81s 82s 83s we're not really interested in unfortunately so can we get a logo on this one we can't can it be an 85 we'd love an 85 on this one please so we get CM is going to be Strootman. I was just going to say, I bet you that Strootman. It always is Strootman. So an 83. So in the first two, not that amazing. He's a he, he goes straight in. You know, not mega amazing. Next one. Can we please get an 85 or an 86? That'd be fantastic. No 86 is going to happen. Fingers crossed. For, oh, we don't even get boards on that one. Oh, that's rough. So an 82. So that's what, an 83, an 83, and an 82 so far, is it? I can't remember. Really can't remember what the first one was already. Um, oh, hang on. Let's just send that. Swap that. Send that up. There you go. And the last one to see off the episode. 81 to 86. Finish on a walkout. Please. 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 No. Please be aboard with 85. Please. No. So an 83, an 83, an 82, and an 82. We've got rid of 16 golds for that. I don't know. It's good value if you get the pack luck. If you don't get the pack luck, it's not. But we are out of here, my friends. Let me know how many of these you're going to do. And let me know if you pack anything nice. That is it for today's episodes. We are out of here. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.